close. So close. Okay. So close. Alright, now we're going to over. What? Sometimes I sit in the shelf for a little bit. Niggas. I want to make sure. Oh, good. All right, what's going on guys? Well, the engine bay is painted, the interior is painted, the door jam is painted. Uh, none of this is painted yet. I'm probably going to get it wrapped, uh, but that'll be later. But for right now, we th actually, this is the first time you guys are seeing this motor. This is the JDM F20B out of a, I think it is a Euro R or SIR. It's a H22 with the blue valve cover. Don't let them lie to you. <laughs> it's, an H it's a 2.0. It's an H20. But yeah, no, uh, I, I forget which one it is. It's either the UR or the SIR. It's one of those JDM Accords that we never got. Euro R. Euro R. It's the Euro R? That's what I saw. Okay, yeah. well, you guys will let us know, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure. Uh, in a nice way, I'm almost positive. Uh, but yeah, uh, so what we're doing is, what I was told is, I don't know if it's true or not, but I mean, I have them. So we are swapping out, well, we already swapped out the cams. These are out of a five-speed. Uh, this was an automatic uh, those were the automatic cams. I don't know if it's true or not. Supposedly, this gives it like another two or three horsepower. We I, did a I, rough, rough measurement. By measurement, we butted those cams against these cams on the lobes. It was like a hair bigger, and maybe. If that, if that, that could have just been like wear and tear. Uh, but either way, I have it. I had to get it off anyways. I'm doing the timing belt. Uh, I cleaned up the motor a little bit. As you can see, it's very nice and aluminum-like. Uh, but I had to do a new water pump because, uh, yeah, trial and error, right? So got a new water pump, put that on. Mark's working on the timing. I'm working on the transmission. And yeah, let's go ahead and put this thing together and see if we can slap that in the car today. <laughs>
need to we actually need to rotate that way a couple. I mean, like you're good, you're good, bro. Like okay. you're gonna clear here. All right, yeah, we're good. Drop it. Ready? So close. <laughs> what the fuck? So close. Okay. So close. Alright, now right, we're, we're, we're right. at the muscle that. Uh, this is like on the mummy. Okay, there we go. We're gonna come down small. Yeah. Push it this way. Watch the paint, bro. 80 miles an hour, you can't see it. Right there. Nice. All right, and there we have it. Engine semi mocked up. Honestly, I don't even know why I put the header or the alternator on it. This motor's probably gonna come out at least another three or four times. I mean, come on. We all get super excited when we drop in a motor, so that's the first thing we wanna do. So, yes, uh, that is probably gonna be it for this video. Um, really short video, really quick. Just want to drop it in. Next up, we're probably gonna try to figure out the wiring harness. Uh, I got a wire in VTEC somehow because this car was originally not VTEC. But yes, that is going to be a job all on its own. So uh, before I end this video, I just want to thank everybody who has been recently subscribing to our channel. I honestly don't know why we keep getting subscribers. I don't really post that often anymore. At one point in time, I was posting like three, four times a week, almost every day. Then it dropped down to like two times a week. Then it dropped down to one time a week. Then it dropped down to one time a month. Then it dropped down to whatever the schedule was based off the world events going on. So I just want to thank everybody who's continuously supporting our channel and everybody who's bought merch through our links down below. Uh, as you can see right there, uh, there are tons of t-shirt options, sweater options that you can choose from between the 240, some Mugen logos, some Nismo logo logos and whatnot. But yes, this is where I'm going to end the video. So until next time, guys. Later.